Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good morning to all students. Okay, today we will learn about the next subtopic that is a metallic bond. Okay, for the metallic bond also the same. Okay, it a new subtopic in our syllabus KSSM. Okay, so uh, before I, I teach about the metallic bond, okay, okay, pernah tak, okay, when you expose, okay, the electrical wire, okay, with the electric shock, okay, so electrical wire, okay, electrical wire is made from the metal, so metal, you know, that it can conduct electricity, okay, why, okay, why metal can conduct electricity, Okay, did you know that the metal have the arrange a closely packed together? Okay, that is a metal. Yeah, that is a solid state. So closely packed together, ah, uh, in a solid state. Okay, so ah, uh, they have the valence electron. Okay, example for the sodium. Ah, uh, sodium they have the one valence electron, right? Sodium atom. Ah, zinc atom they have two valence electron. So for the valence electron, okay, for the valence electron here, so closely palama. So so that is a closely packed and orderly uh and orderly arrangement. Okay, orderly in state electron. So valence electron here can be donated easily. Eh, then it can be donated easily and be delocalized. Maksudnya dia bergerak. Okay, sentiasa dia bergerak dia tak duduk satu tempat okay di localized in the solid state okay so that's mean the metal ions okay will be form the positively charged so you know that okay when the valence electron are di localized so the 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 di localized valence electron can move freely okay between the metal structure and it will form what a sea of electron, okay? Yang valence electron tadi dia akan uh, bergerak, okay? Dekat sea of, eh, kita panggil dia di antara electron uh, structure ini, we call as a sea of electron. So between this, they have the electrostatic attraction forces, okay? Between where? Between the sea of electron here. So this is we call the metallic bond. Okay, metallic bond. So that mean that is a positively charged metal. Positively charged metal. Okay, you look here. Uh, for the this atom of the metal, they have valence electron. So valence electron will be uh, form the C of electron. And here that is a positively charged between them. Electrostatic attraction forces. So this is the metallic bond. Okay, so when the electron, okay, when we electron, so you look here, this is the electron. So when the electron are delocalized at the C of electron, so this metal can conduct electricity. So this metal can conduct electricity and the electron move freely in the structure of the metal. Okay, from where? From the negatively charged to the positively charged. Okay, when the electricity is supply. Okay, so electron will be moved from the negative to the positively charged terminal. Okay, that's all for the metallic bond actually. So, uh, you can do your test yourself. Okay, what is mean delocalized electron? Okay, here, uh, delocalized electron, valence electron. Okay. Uh, that is a uh, in the what valence electron move freely okay move freely okay that is not uh, from the uh, that from the atom or ion okay not from the atom but uh, delocalized so you just said about the free moving ions okay free moving ions okay and then how a metallic bond is in a metal so you said about the valence electron, okay, valence electron of the metal, okay, can be donated easily and delocalized. Delocalized dalam bahasa Melayu je dinyah setempatkan, okay, delocalized, okay, although in a solid state. Uh, so you said about the metal ion positively charged, okay, formed from the when valence electron are delocalized, so it will form the what? C of electron.
electron. Okay, so the electrostatic attraction forces in the sea of electron will form the what? Positively charged. Okay, metal ion. So that is a metallic bond. And using aluminium metal, as example, explain how metal can be conduct. Okay, so you said about the uh, in the aluminium metal, okay, they have the valence electron delocalized and will form what? Tadi cikgu cakap apa? C of electron. Okay, it will form the C of electron. So, the electron will be moved, okay, to the negatively charged, go to the positively charge so here they have the electrical conductivity okay so that's all for the metallic bond okay can you do your workbook okay workbook uh, answer just simple question there okay you can answer it okay thank you very much uh, for uh, hearing my uh, video okay can we go to the uh, last sub topic okay ini senang sangat Okay, this is the properties of ionic compound and covalent. We have learned about the ionic and covalent. Ionic, you know that is a transfer of electron. And the covalent, that is a share of electron. How? Okay. What the properties of the uh, ionic? Can you compare? Uh, so, let's we go. So, nanti dekat kelas kita akan buat eksperimen. Okay, eksperimen to compare between ionic and covalent bond. Okay, first for the electrical conductivity and conductivity so electrical conductivity here we want to look so either the bulb will be light up okay when we test with the bromide uh, lead bromide powder or when we heated the uh, when we melt the lead to bromide okay can the bulb will be lights up or not okay so also same with the naphthalene okay if the in a solid or molten can it be lights up the bulb and the second experiment we want to look the solubility of the compound in water so either magnesium chloride you know magnesium chloride is the ionic so uh, that can soluble or not in a distilled water or cyclohexane same with the naphthalene naphthalene is covalent so can or not uh, naphthalene soluble in water or cyclohexane and also we will we look the melting and boiling point of the uh, ionic and covalent okay ionic and covalent which one will uh, give okay the observation for the changes uh, the physically states okay okay next we go to the electrical conductivity for the electrical conductivity for the ionic and covalent okay they have the different conductivity so for the ionic compound okay it cannot cannot conduct electricity in solid but it can conduct electricity in molten and aqueous ingat tu ionic bond in solid dia tak boleh dalam molten and aqueous it can okay but covalent bond uh, both of that state cannot okay either in a solid molten or aqueous okay no cannot conduct electricity okay why okay let's we go so ion okay in the solid okay in the solid ionic compound they have no free moving ion okay they are tied by strong electrostatic forces but they cannot conduct electricity Okay, dia tak the free moving ion. But, in the uh, molten or aqueous, okay, they have electrostatic forces. Okay, and have more free moving ions. So, the free moving ion, it can conduct the electricity. Okay, in a solid or molten covalent. So, covalent like a naphthalene, like a uh, naphthalene, Okay, that is a covalent. So, covalent, they are neutral. So, neutral, dia tak ada ion. So, they do not carry any charge. Okay. So, it do not conduct electricity in all states. In all states. Okay. So, solubility. So, we look for the solubility. So, 
Most of the ionic compound are soluble in the water but not soluble in organic. Okay, but for the covalent, dia terbalik pula. Dia not soluble in water but soluble in organic solvent. Okay, when dissolved in the water, okay, water molecule can help to overcome the electrostatic forces between the ions and break down the lattice structure of the solid compound. As a result, in the ions can move freely in water like this. Okay, like this, you can um, uh, read for this chemistry lens okay, how the attraction forces between water molecule in the ionic compound they have a strong enough to overcome the uh, electrostatic forces between the ions okay but in a solid state it cannot okay okay you go to the boiling and boiling a uh, melting and boiling point so melting and boiling point okay in uh, ionic they have the high melting and boiling point Okay, therefore, they are not easily to volatile. So, for this example, sodium chloride, okay, ionic compound, they have a positive and negative. So, they have the strong electrostatic forces. So, high heat energy is required to overcome the strong electrostatic forces that the ionic compound can be melt. Okay, so then sodium chloride has the high melting and boiling point. So the covalent compound with a sample okay, molecule have the low melting and boiling point. So ionic sahaja yang tinggi, tapi untuk covalent, they have low melting and boiling point. So, uh, are easily to volatile. So, between the covalent bond, they have attract by van der Waals forces. So, when the wall forces yang sangat weak, yang sangat lemah. So, dia hanya perlukan sedikit sahaja tenaga. Low heat energy is required to overcome the weak when the wall forces. Sebab dia dah weak. Bila dia dah weak, dia dah lemah. So, kita hanya perlukan sedikit sahaja tenaga untuk overcome the when the wall forces. Weak when the wall forces between in a covalent compound. Okay. Thus, the methane has a low melting and boiling points. Okay. So, that's why kenapa lizard, okay, dia boleh uh, stick dia punya tangan dia, jari dia dekat walls. Okay. Kenapa? Because uh, the reaction sum the electron from the molecule of the hundred of the fine hair. Okay. Dekat dia punya tangan ni, salt of a lizard, fit sum electron from the molecule of the wall. So, elect, uh, dekat situ ada electromagnetic attraction. So, nampak tak dia punya tapak begini? So, electromagnetic attraction, okay, known as a van der Waals attraction forces. Okay, this is the structure of covalent. So, for the covalent, they have simple, like a water. Okay, giant, that is a, like a silicon dioxide. Okay, structure in a simple molecule for the covalent. So, it can be found in a solid, liquid or gas. Okay, but for the giant molecule, very large structure usually exists as a solid. Okay, for the chemical bond, okay, in a covalent bond, they are held together by van der Waals forces. Okay, yang mana dia weak. Okay, for the giant molecule, they are strong covalent bond. So, dia tak ada no van der Waals attraction forces between molecule. Kenapa? Because it's giant structure. Okay. Melting and boiling point. So, for the simple covalent bond, they have a low melting and boiling point. Okay. Kenapa? Because only little heat energy is required to overcome the forces of van der Waals forces of attraction. But for the giant molecule, they have high Okay, high melting and boiling point because what? Because it need a lot of heat of energy. A uh, lot of heat energy required to break the covalent bond. So, that is a very many the uses of ionic and covalent in our daily lives. Okay, for the example, in the industrial, the ionic compound like, uh, like a lithium iodide is used in battery. Okay, Pain contain covalent compounds such as pigment and to pentive solvent. Okay, agriculture. Okay, the ionic compound from in ammonium nitrate and potassium chloride. 
pesticide, okay, in a bromoethane and chloropicrine, okay. Medical structure in the ionic compound that is a sodium bicarbonate to relieve the gastric pain. Paracetamol is a covalent com uh, compound to a fever. And for domestic, like a detergent, sodium chloride 5, okay, that is a domestic cleaning. And the glycerol is a covalent compound add to a skin care product okay so that's all for this okay so uh, you can answer this question okay tak apalah kamu cuba buat kerja, buku kerja saja yang ini tak payah buat buat pun tak apa okay kita dah habis untuk chapter 5 so we are finished so you can uh, do for the achievement test 5 okay please do achievement test 5 okay they have um nine okay nine question if you have any problem you can ask me and also for the workbook okay please settle down for the chapter five okay thank you very much for here my video recording okay before that i want to look for the workbook for the last chapter for the uh, chapter 5 here so for the chapter 5 I look for the in your workbook okay in your workbook okay adakah banyak soalan dia cuba kita tengok oh, okay just only for the review 5 that is a subject uh, objective question and structure question okay you can do for the essay and because uh, next week okay saya mungkin tak ada Okay, kamu boleh buat this is your homework for until cuti pertengahan SEM 1. Okay, bulan 3 nanti hujung ni kita ada cuti. So, sila siapkan buku teks. Uh, ini buku set form 5 sorry. And your workbook. And here, okay, this is your workbook. Okay, please settle down. So, sila hantar apabila buka sekolah nanti. Okay, thank you very much.